If you like me who want to edit their videos in Adobe Premiere Pro but want to color grade their videos in the Vinci Resolve, then this video is for you because today I'm going to show you how you can send your Premiere Pro project to Resolve for color grading and then how you can bring it back to Adobe Premiere Pro for further processing. So let's get started. Here I have already opened a location of one of my clients folder. So this is the project that I want to work with. So I can just double click to open the project in Adobe Premiere Pro. So this is the project. I have already trimmed the clips. So make sure when you are sending a project to resolve, you are not applying any kinds of Premiere Pro effects on your clips because if you apply any Premiere Pro effects on your clips then you need to render and replace the clips again then you can send it back otherwise the effects will not work when you are sending the clips in the result so make sure the footage are clean you haven't done anything and that is the perfect time to send the project to resolve for color grading so once you cut the project you can send it to resolve by going files and then click export and from here you need to select final cut pro xml so you need to make a xml file so i'll just name it working doc and there i can select where i want to save it so under this folder i'll just make another folder name resolve and then i can click on create it will make a resolve folder so i can just click on save to save that xml file now to open the file in resolve i need to go to resolve and there i need to make a new project name it you can name it whatever you want then click on create so here is our blank project to import the timeline you need to go to file and there you have to click on import and there you'll see timeline if you click on that timeline it will ask where you have saved the file right so for me i can just go to the resolve folder and here is the file that i want to open in resolve so if i click on import it will ask for some properties like how you want to name the timeline how the resolution will be i'll just keep it as it is as the premiere Pro project so i'll not change anything and here i can click on ok so it will import the clips and it will automatically open the timeline in the resolve right very easy right now you can go to your color page and there you can start color grading your clips one by one so i'll just color grade one of my clips so i'll just use my one of my power grid like maybe this one so i need to change few settings from here maybe here from the cst i can just select is rack 709 and then comma 2.4 so perfect now if i want to change anything from here i can change the saturation if i think the saturation is a bit harsh then i can do it this much again if you want to balance the exposure you can do everything just like a native result project so once you change the settings and you are satisfied with your color grading you can just and do the color grading one by one or you can just copy the color grading from one of your clip and then select the rest of your clips and you can paste the color grading from here right so paste attributes color correction apply so the color grading have been applied throughout <laughs> my clips you can take your time to color grade so for the tutorial purpose i'm not taking that time how you can now send the project back in adobe premiere pro you need to go to your deliver page and from the deliver page if you go here you can scroll this one so if you scroll you will see premiere pro xml so again you need to make xml project file right select this one then you can name it and then you can select a location so suppose i want to save it here maybe create it folder and then create and open and then i can click on add to render queue and render all now it will take some time to render the project because it is actually rendering all the clips and then it will organize the clips as the clips on the timeline in a xml file then you can open that xml file in adobe premiere pro so that is the easiest process so you have to wait few minutes okay the export is done in resolve so i can just go in adobe premiere pro 
here I can input the timeline again so if I just make a new bin named it color graded then I can just import the files here so you can just click and drag it or you can just double click here to import and just navigate where you have saved that file so that is my file if I click on import it will import the timeline in Adobe Premiere Pro and everything will be the same if I go to the folder I can see here is the sequence I can just double click to open the sequence so here is the color graded version and again here is the uncolor graded version you can see the clip and arrangement everything is the same right so our sequence duration is 7 minute 11 second and again if I go here 7 minute 11 second pin perfect sequence so you can now continue editing here on this sequence and finish your work in Adobe Premiere Pro so that's it that is how you can send your Premiere Pro project in Resolve and then you can again color grade the files or clips in Resolve and bring it back to Adobe Premiere Pro for further processing I hope that helps you if that video helped and if you have learned something new then you can give me a thumbs up if you need this channel want to learn video editing then you can subscribe to this channel to get more awesome video just like this one i'll catch you guys on the next one until then goodbye